Buenas a todos, aquí Riven, de nuevo en Risen, R en R. Este será un capítulo nuevo con emocionantes aventuras. Espero que en el capítulo de hoy nos encontremos con un montón de tíos de la Inquisición y vayamos por fin a la ciudad puerto, que está aquí al lado, creo. Bueno, que nos había dicho este, que cuando lo ayudemos... Espera, lobos. All clear. The warrior is gone. It was a good job I saw you first, or you'd be on your way to the monastery. I'd say you got lucky there. Ah, uh, esos lobos están muertos. Sí. Those wolves are dead. You killed them. That's a relief. I can finally sleep peacefully again. Here, take this as thanks. I could never have done that alone. I hope you'll find your way, my friend. I hope so too. Farewell, and thanks. Bueno. Y a ver si me da oro y cosas. Wow. Un embutido. Voy a guardar y a lo mejor lo robo. Y Roma. Eh, ¿Por qué he guardado? Pues porque en este juego no está permitido robar normalmente. O sea, si haces eso en una casa normal te podrían matar. En cuanto a la granja. Los lobos de la cueva han muerto. It seems el destino se ha portado bien conmigo trayéndote a estas costas. Toma, es tu recompensa. Creo que no hay nada más que hacer en nuestra granja. Bla, bla, bla. Oh, if you still want to go to Harbor Town, then go and see Brother Teller. He'll show you the way to the northern entrance of town. Thanks. Bueno, vayamos pues. El hermano del libro cuál era este? No, era el otro. Ah, me encantan los gráficos. No es un amanecer precioso, casi tan precioso como el del Minecraft. Tristan dice que me llevarás hasta la puerta trasera de Ciudad Puerto. Tristan says you should take me to the rear gate of Harbor Town. All right, but it's a long, dangerous journey. This island is far from safe, you know. So be prepared. Estoy listo. I'm ready. Let's go to Harbor Town. <coughs> Stay behind me. All right? Bueno, vamos pues. A la ciudad puerto. Guardado automático y el sol tan bonita con sus rayos y todo. The island is full of dangers. Even this lake down here. Stay on the walkway, and you should be safe. Let's move on. He subido de nivel. Ahora soy nivel 2. Me siento poderoso. Quiero usar el Spain del Minecraft ahora mismo. Esto me recuerda mucho a un sitio del Gothic 1 Que si ibas por ahí Ibas al campamento viejo Por ahí al campamento nuevo Y por ahí a... a ¿Cómo se llama? A la Zucinaga This is it That way leads to the main gate of Harbor Town I suggest you don't go down there though That will take you to the warriors of the order You want to go to the monastery To join the order? Go that way You don't want that? Don't go there Because... They won't give you a choice. Thanks. <coughs> I think I get the point. Let's go on. All right, we're moving. Hombre, en teoría yo quiero unirme a la orden, así que luego si eso iré por ahí. Follow me. Mm, bueno, sí, luego. We have to move on. Va a guardar. Corre, insensato. If you follow this path up, you'll end up at the monastery. But the sign will tell you that, right? That's what signs are for. Need me to guide you further? Sí, tú guíame. Yes, go on. Come on then. Hierba. Mía. Muajajajaja, tengo una hierba. Temblad mortales. Tu 
You'll have to make your own way to the rear entrance of the town, but it isn't much farther. From here, keep heading south through the narrow corridor. Keep going until you reach a high cliff, then follow that. It'll take you straight to the town gate. And I can just walk in? One of the town guards will probably be outside the gate, but I'm sure you can find a way to convince the sentry to let you pass. Convince them? How do I do that? If you have enough gold on you, I'm sure that will help persuade him. That's how the old guards seem to work. Corruption is everywhere. I see. Now I need to get back to my grain field. Good luck. Inútil este. Me dice que me lleva hasta la puerta y me deja aquí tirado. Bueno, voy a intentar ir por la puerta principal a ver si me llevan al monasterio, que eso es lo que quiero al fin y al cabo. Pero todo el mundo está, no, no vayas por ahí que te matan. Bueno, dicen que me llevarán al monasterio, pero es que me matan, eso es el problema. Y de hecho ahí podéis ver la estampa del monasterio. Bueno, está un poco lejos, así que tampoco vamos a quedarnos ahí. A ver, mapa. ¿Puedo ir por ahí o puedo ir por ahí? ¿Qué más da? Nada. Pero aquí seguramente habrá alguna rata erizo o algo. Sí, dos ratas erizo. Voy a guardar. Morid ratas erizo. Toma, hostia. Hostias, son súper fuertes. Cago en Buda. Una muerta. Y ahora voy a morir yo. ¿A que sí? Voy a morir, voy a morir, voy a morir, voy a morir. ¡No he muerto! ¡Ole! ¡Qué profesional soy! He matado a dos ratas y hizo. Voy a guardar. Pero si muero ahora. <risa> en este juego cada bicho puede matarte. Eso es parte de su encanto, supongo. Uy, las aves esas no me gustan nada. de hoja la quiero no sé para qué pero la quiero no no me mates no gracias bueno esto es la ciudad puerto a ver si me matan o me llevan a... al monasterio espero que sea lo segundo porque si me matan no tendrá mucho sentido Vale, ¿por qué me matan? ¿Pero no me matéis? Llevadme al monasterio. Another time. Ver. Sí, venga, ahora me roba el tío. Ah, no, sí que me llevan al monasterio al final. Qué guay. Anda, estoy en el monasterio. Bueno. Eso era un... Un buen em... Empiezo, comienzo. A ver, el palas este. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? No. Me dice voluntario. No. I volunteered. I see. Then you must have something to show me. I must have lost it. In that case, it can't be taken into consideration. So I'm a criminal. What happens to me now? By order of the Inquisitor, all criminals are to be conscripted into the Order as warriors. You will complete basic training using the staff. Then you shall learn combat magic. If you are talented at magic, we will teach you powerful combat spells. This will give you a path away from crime. You will gain your rewards through diligence and hard work. Now go. Caleb will robe you and explain further what will happen. O sea que cogen a los furitivos, a los criminales, y básicamente les, les entrenan para matar, les dan un montón de armas, hechizos poderoso, poderosos, y dicen, bueno, así os alejamos del crimen. Genial, me encanta. What does it mean to be a warrior of the order? You start off as just one of many recruits. Few have the ability to become full warriors, but even recruits have their uses. What does a warrior of the order do? The warriors defend the Holy Flame. They are the arm that delivers the word and fights for humanity. 
Their skill at fighting with staffs and their powerful combat magic is a fierce combination. But few are good enough to get that far. First, you should focus on basic training. What can I expect <coughs> in basic training? As you'd expect, you learn attack and defense using the staff. Lessons taken with the masters come later. What is your role here? You haven't said. Apart from answering questions from people like you, I am the administrator of the monastery. That keeps me more than busy. Could I help you with that? No. You concentrate on your training and your tests. Tests? What tests? Every master will test you. That is how you will proceed through the ranks here. You must listen well and study hard. That is what we expect from you. Hmm. Do you have a test for me? I will. We all have tests for the trainees here. Bueno. Voy a leer el libro de este tío. Vete, quiero leer tu libro. Buah, no me deja leer su libro. Capullo, voy a leer este libro. There's something here about magic. Wow, más tres sabiduría. Soy listo. Taylor. Recruit, eh? Don't look at me. I'm not responsible for you. Go and see Caleb. Calix se llama. A ver dónde está ese tío. Es que es un poco extraño. Te dejan suelto por aquí solo y... Búscate la vida, básicamente. Me encanta ese cristal. Guerrero de la Orden. Este no es Calic. ¿Quién es Calic? Supongo que será ese. Es Arik, no Calic. <coughs> Perdón. <risa> ah, I see we have a new little lawbreaker in our midst. Lawbreaker. Well, no matter what you've done in the past, you'll get a clean slate here, at least for now. Grab a staff. Get back here sharpish. We'll soon have you bruised and battered like the rest. Who are you? I'm Master Eric. I know what you're thinking. I seem like a nice guy, a decent chap. So before you think about testing me or disobeying my orders, consider how much you value your liver. <laughs> Why do I need a staff? Because everyone learns how to fight here. The staff is a noble weapon, in the right hands as deadly as any blade, although it pays to have a good blade handy too. And I think it's wise to see just how much training you're going to need. No sense in your dying too quick. Me pregunto si alaba tanto los bastones por qué tiene una espada. Where's your staff? <laughs> you're observant, I like that. I've done my training, now it's up to you to do yours. Besides, if I need to, I could take a staff off any of these lot without breaking a sweat. Mm -hmm. Where do I get a staff? Look around the monastery, lad. Use those eyes of yours. I'll be right back, Master Eric. That's more like it. Ah, hay agua. Ah, no, no quiero beber agua. Ya me han curado esto. Quiero. Que van a hacer más bonito. Es precioso. Quiero el bastón. ¿Dónde lo voy a encontrar? Un bastón yo por aquí. Bastón, bastón, bastón. Esto tendrá espadas a lo mejor. Manzana. Manzana. Vino. Y... ¿Hay bastones? ¿Qué es eso? No, es una puerta estándar, ¿verdad? O sea, puerta... ¡Vaya! ¡Bah! ¡Quiero un bastón! Piedra de afilar... Aquí no hay bastones... ¿Será capullo el tío ese? ¿Cómo me va a entrenar si no tengo un bastón? Eh, esto es un poco inútil, el arquitecto... Era español, supongo. Ahí no hay bastones. Es que no conozco este sitio porque, como ya dije, siempre jugué como uno de los chicos del don. Para mí el monasterio es casi un desconocido, es decir, luego tenía misiones aquí también, pero eran básicamente de correr, matar a todo Dios y... Irte. Stop there, brother. Are you on guard duty? You can't enter the cemetery. 
please go back to your training. Why can't I enter the cemetery? This is where artifacts from the temples are being stored. The Inquisitor doesn't want them touched. Besides, some of them are dangerous. Dangerous? In what way? The artifacts are from the temple ruins. Who knows what ancient magic they contain. For your own safety, you should leave now. Bueno, pues vale. Tampoco me interesan esos artefactos. Me interesa la manzana. Y el bastón. ¿Dónde demonios puedo encontrar un bastón? You need a staff, lad. Large wooden thing. Ring any bells. Eh, gracias, pero ¿dónde está el bastón? Blech. Estoy perdido. Vitos. Well recruit. No, no quiero hablar con este. Banco. Casi un bastón. Empieza por B también. Eh. Aquí puede haber un bastón. Uy, creo que he hecho algo mal. <ríe> Cargando. ¿Lo veis? He robado un queso y. Y ahí van a matarme. Aunque sería divertido que me matara un maestro. En mi primer día. <ríe> Por un queso. Ah, el mundo cruel de Gothic barra Risen barra Gothic 4. ¿Veis? Esto es el. Esto es la hacienda del campamento del Don. Eso sí que lo conozco. No me fastidies que tengo que empezar desde. Bueno, tampoco dice tanto. Quítate gallina. Son más molestas que las del Minecraft y todo. A lo mejor aquí hay un bastón. ¿No? No. Bastón. Hey. I don't think we've met. My name's William. Are you a volunteer? Uh, ¿Tú qué yes, I am. Then we're fighting for the same cause. Tienes un bastón para mí. Do you have a staff for me? I don't. But our smith will kick you out. <coughs> ah, herrero. Supongo que tú te ofreciste voluntario. I take it you volunteered. Yes. There's something here worth fighting for. My parents had a farm on the island until those temples burst out of the ground. Now they have nothing. If it hadn't been for the warriors here, my parents would have lost their lives to those creatures. Instead, they're in Harbour Town. I swore to do anything I could against those creatures. Bien, me parece un tipo majo, un poco lavado de cerebro, pero majo. A ver qué me puede decir el herrero. Acerca de un bastón. <risa> He is someone who needs the protection of a good weapon. ¿Qué clase de armas tienes? What sort of weapons do you have? Injure things, kill things, cause damage to things, that sort of weapon. But nothing's free. But I'll trade if you can't pay with gold. ¿Qué hace un herrero con bastones de madera? What's a smith doing with wooden staffs? Not much call for anything else. Shame, really. <risa> Because blades are my speciality. I remember every sword I've ever touched. Doesn't matter if I forged it, repaired it, or just sharpened it. I ain't like that Oscar down at the Don's camp. Messing around with jewelry. Good solid blade, that's what you need. Yeah, I don't remember the Oscar. Can you teach me how to be a smith? Long as you don't steal my customers. Go on then. Pin your ears back and listen up. Necesito un bastón. I need a staff. I'll check me stock. <coughs> Got this. Oak. Good strong wood. Knock someone's teeth through the back of the skull. It'll serve as well as a blade. Well, most blades, if you train with it. And you don't go hitting the wrong people. En <laughs> fin. Tengo un bastón. Y no me fastidies que es una mierda de basta. Eh, pues hace más daño que a mi espada. Ya. Tengo un bastón, chicos. Ya. Careful with that weapon. Eh, pero, pero, ¿qué demonios? Si estáis todos con nosotros. Buah. Tengo un bastón. I've got a staff. So you have. But do you know what to do with it? Eh, golpear cosas. You hit things. Simple answer. Difficult skill. Done right, this can turn a human body into an unrecognizable skin sack of broken bones. 
To start, you need to learn some moves from a few of our fighters. Tucker, William, and Kato. When they're satisfied with your progress, come back and see me. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Sí, Maestro Arik. Yes, Master Arik. Well then, off with you. And don't come back until you've learned the basics. Bueno, se supone que tengo que vencer a tres. Esto solo conozco a William. Se supone que tienes que entrenarme. You're supposed to train me. You'll do well here if you're stout-hearted. You can get strength training with Tucker, and I'll show you how to fight with a staff. I'm no master, but I know enough to give a good grounding in the basics. When Tucker's satisfied that you're strong enough, come to me to learn about technique. And then, then you have to face Kato. Watch out for Kato. He's the biggest asshole around. Kato's the best fighter. That's Master Arik. Kato's more of an ass. Don't let him muck you around. Bueno, pues tengo que buscar el otro, el Tucker ese. ¿Dónde está? Recluta, recluta, recluta. Ah, no, Kato. ¿Dónde encuentro el taco ese o como se llame? Taco Bell. Este es un guerrero de la orden. ¿Quién demonios es taco? ¿Este? No, este es un recluta. Una manzana. Déjà vu. Oh, ¿dónde está Kato? El taco o como se llame. I need to improve my fighting technique. Not a problem, my friend. No tengo tanto oro. Fin. ¿Quién demonios es el otro? Este. <laughs> Look, another recruit, right? Me too. Tucker, recruit of the Inquisition. What a joke. The same people who chain me up now expect me to fight for them. You don't think we should fight? Against who? For what? If they're pulling us in for service, then the shit has really hit the fan. It's not like we've been given a choice. No. All we can do is prepare ourselves. One hour of training could mean the difference between life and death. Se supone que tenemos que entrenar. We're supposed to train. Life of glamour this, isn't it? Right, this is what they taught me. To be good with a staff, you have to work on strength and technique. Build up your arms. Whenever you're hit, you want to hit it hard. And once you've trained, we'll practice fighting. See if either of us are any good. ¿Cómo puedo mejorar mi técnica? How can I improve my fighting technique? I'm no expert. For me, muscles count the most. There has to be more to it than strength. Like they've trained a recruit up in much else. I'll show you what I know, though. And you can ask William. He's picked up more than I have. Mm -hmm. Are there rules in the arena? Pretty basic ones. The fight starts when we get in there. The fight lasts until someone's on the ground. You don't attack anyone on the ground. And it finishes when someone leaves. Let's do some strength work. Good. The stronger you are, the stronger your blows will be. Hitting harder ends a fight quickly. More chance of us both surviving whatever they throw at us. No advantage in longer fights. Just more chance of you losing. When you're strong, you can finish anyone you're fighting faster. Easy. Hagamos prácticas de lucha. I could do with some fight practice. Yeah, I could do with some. And if you lose, we can fight again. We're all on the same side. The better we all are, better for all of us. <coughs> bueno. La verdad es que me están cayendo mejor que los del Don, porque son, los del Don son unos capullos estos. Bueno. Ah, lag. Ah, toma Fight me. Wow, sí que tiene vida el capullo. Bueno, no es tanta. La táctica de este juego es siempre moverte de lado, así luego pueden fallar y hacer estas cosas, ¿veis? O puedes estamparlo contra una pared, entonces no puede moverse. ¿Veis? Ya falló. Voy a robarle mientras está ahí. Mío y mío. 
si es que soy un luchador genial. Vamos, levántate. Que te quiero humillar un poco. That was good. You're looking good. I've taught you what I know. You should fight William. He'll teach you more about technique. Vale. Y esto es todo por hoy, chicos, porque ya llevamos más de 25 minutos, creo, no sé, no, no lo cronometro, pero creo que sí. En el próximo capítulo de Risen, seguiremos entrenando en la orden del monasterio y a lo mejor conseguiremos lanzar nuestro primer hechizo, quién sabe, nunca jugué como un ordenado. Como siempre, votad este vídeo, comentadme cosas, preguntadme cosas, que recibo pocas preguntas, suscribiros... Ponedlo favoritos o como os plazca. Hasta la próxima.